Manchester United's one change was the return of Paul Scholes for Nicky Butt. They're in plenty of time for an 8 o'clock kick-off at Old Trafford with Steve Wilson. Lampard to his captain Lomas. Sinclair was under a little bit of pressure from Silvestri. Son. Confident. Rigobert Song away from Solskjaer and York, but here's Beckham. A bit too confident, maybe. Stuart Pearce away, and Song beaten to it by Solskjaer. What a start for Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer continues what has been a rip roaring run of form in front of goal, and it's taken Manchester United a little over two minutes to find their way through West Ham's rear guard. Song caught in possession, and Solskjaer spotted the far post and found that gap unerringly. A little casual from Song, and Solskjaer was very alert. Beckham, though, and Dwight York. Solskjaer is in the middle, Giggs will join him, York might go on his own, running at Stuart Pearce, Dwight York! Good run and shot from York. And Harry Redknapp with some very early thinking and talking to do. Surely it's perfect for David Beckham to uh, curl it right-footed, and far enough away from goal you would think to dip it back down again, it is Beckham! Well saved by Shaka Hislop never too much question as to who was going to take the free kick the question was would West Ham keep it out and Hislop did Solskjaer and still Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Winterburn sticks to his task that's Beckham's cross great clearance by Son from Scholes and Sylvester Wai And I'm sure as the cross came in, Dwight York thought he would be the man to get his head on this. And Song away off the line. Giggs drifting inside. Solskjaer and Scholes are forward, and this is Dwight York. Solskjaer and Giggs, good try! That's a terrific save from Shaka Hislop. Ryan Giggs really caught that. Searching out Ryan Giggs. The song is so careless there. This is York. And his lot to the rescue again. Gary Neville for Manchester United. Phil Neville now. Winterburn, who was alert and alive to the danger. Phil Neville to Keane. And again, good cross! Splendid goal! And Keane's cross here was an invitation to Dwight York. And if it wasn't beyond doubt before, it surely is now. Stuart Pearce. Canute! 
great delivery from Pierce and Frederick Canute with the header for West Ham. They have a little consolation. Carrick nicely. Still Michael Carrick. Here's Canute. Joe Cole has got forward. Sinclair's there. Lampard arriving as well. Carrick once more. Lampard in there. And here's a chance. And it really was a chance. There are opportunities to the right. Phil Neville. Beckham's clever pass. And Song against his own bar. Song will probably feel he had to get something on the cross from Beckham, but he's a little bit fortunate that West Ham didn't concede a second own goal. We, we made a terrible start. It was a bad goal to concede the first goal, and it really didn't... Uh, it's the worst possible start you can make when you come to Old Trafford. You want to try to keep it tight, 15, 20 minutes, get into the game. But to go one down and, uh, and they play some football in the first half, that was, uh, it was breathtaking really, wasn't it? It was out of game, should we play one and two touch football, movement off the ball, always got five or six options. When they lose it, they work hard as a team to close you down. They're, they're an almost perfect football team. Certainly, we know what the scenario was earlier on in the, in, in, uh, in the day, where Arsenal had dropped points and we needed to pick up three points even to put us even further ahead. And uh, the managers go out there and say, well, we don't need any more encouragement to get off to a good start, which certainly we, which we have, and uh, all credit to the players. It can weed itself to all sorts of things, complacency, and if we were to lose it, we'd be real mugs, wouldn't we? And everyone would enjoy that. So we're just going to have to work hard to make sure there's no complacency in the camp. And I don't expect it to be. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we can do it. Manchester yeah. United. And Rig you've got to roll it back to the keeper here. He's looking at him. And he's had a dribble across his own box, which is a bit of a cardinal sin for a centre-back anyway. He could have cleared it, and that's the last place you want to be trying to clear it from there. Gets a cross in, no danger. Could have cleared it there, and well, he gave Solskjaer a perfect start. Mm. It, was a, it was a real bad, bad mistake. Played some good stuff, though, didn't you? They were, they were super, weren't they? I mean, Manchester United were just uh, incredible football they played. Harry said it all, it's the way the game should be played, one and two touch and movement and passing. David Beckham supposedly playing wide right all over the field and his passing and his crossing all afternoon was all evening so it was just superb uh, one two touches here's Roy Keane bursting forward find him in any sort of a position even Phil Neville was getting up and there's his soul show well this is a great cross and this for me would have been one of the goals of the season had he gone in yeah. and I'm going to have to praise Rigobert's song there he's got back <laughs> having given him stick it's a great clearance and uh, yeah, breaking down the right hand side here. This is the this is Dwight York's goal. Now this is just a little set, a little wall pass with Phil Neville, and that is a fantastic cross. And uh, I think we were talking about that you and I, and he said if uh, if you know those balls are coming in, you just set off and you get on the end of them. And and as I say, a two nil could have been six after. I'd settle for three one. Any West Ham connection would have been delighted with that <laughs> final scoreline. Don't worry. Great match, United. Terrific. Certainly was.